what's going on genius nation welcome to a brand new day a day that you've never seen before a day that you will never see again as i always tell you every single day is a gift waiting for you to open it up and take full advantage of it thank you so much for joining us on the daily genius i am dr will and as always super excited that you are here rocking with us inside the nation if you're watching us on YouTube or if you're watching us on uh, Instagram I invite you to join our Facebook group it's a free Facebook group it's called genius nation and inside the group what we want to do is provide you with tips tools and strategies to assist you in becoming a better version of yourself and assisting you in creating a life that you love so if that's your mindset you want to become a better version of yourself and you want tips tools and strategies to assist you in doing that then we invite you to join us go on Facebook look up genius nation and uh, it's a free group uh, over a thousand uh, individuals that are committed to becoming the best version of themselves so if you've been rocking with us with The Daily Genius, you know that I have committed to come to you live every single day for 365 days. For one full year, I committed to showing up inside our Genius Nation group to provide you once again with tips, tools, and strategies. So on Wednesdays, what we like to do is a segment that we call Moving the Needle, Moving the Needle. Good morning for those of you that are coming in live. Dennis, I see you. Orlando, I see you. Robin, I see you. Joanne, I see you. Davina, I see you. Dennis, I see you. Good morning for those of you on Instagram coming in. I see you. Uh, Dr. Leroy, I see you, uh, Fit Tree Lane, I see you, Stephen. Thank you guys so much for rocking out with us. So uh, today we do this segment called uh, Moving the Needle, and I try to share with you something that I've done in my business that has helped me uh, be successful. So this morning we want to talk about how to build your team, how to build your team. Um, when is the right time to start hiring? How do you hire? Uh, who should you hire? And what's the most effective way to hire? So one of the things about being an entrepreneur, being a business owner, when you first start, you're wearing a whole lot of hats, right? You're wearing all the hats. And then one of the most difficult things is to start relinquishing, to start relinquishing those hats. In essence, I call it firing yourself. And if you truly want to be successful, you're going to have to learn how to fire yourself at the right time. So as you're building your business, as you're growing your business, when is it time, right? When is it time to start hiring um, the right individuals, right? <laughs> when is it time to start bringing on team members? Sometimes um, it's the right time because you're just feeling overwhelmed. There's just too much work, right? Another time, uh, it could deal with taxes, like you're bringing in too much money and you need some uh, larger deductions. So hiring somebody would probably make sense so you can reduce your tax liability. But in the simplest form, when we think about hiring, when I go back and I think about hiring, one of the first hires for me um, was an assistant getting an assistant because now you don't have time to check emails you don't have time to um, answer the phone it's not worth your time anymore right it's just not worth your time you can invest your time uh, building the business networking uh, creating content um, uh, creating partnerships and things like that and so all throughout their business there's going to be things that need to be done but they don't need to be done by you. And that's that's a huge step in your business. Understanding, right, that yes, this needs to be done, but it doesn't need to be done by me. Then the next mental shift, right, you gotta think about, oh man, I'm investing money. I'm not spending money, I'm investing money in other people now. When you start hiring, you're now investing money in other people so they can help you be more productive. So for me, the first hire, essential hire was an assistant, helping me with emails, helping me with my calendar, keeping me on track. 
keeping me on track. Now, I love the space that we're in right now um, because as a small business owner, as an entrepreneur, you want to keep your operational costs down. You want to keep your operational costs down and your profits high. So we're now, um, as it relates to building businesses, we can build, there's different models that we can use. One of the models that I like to use is using virtual assistants. And the way I use virtual assistants is on a task base, right? If I have a particular task, a project, I will hire some VAs. Um, when it came to my assistant, I hired, I hired a VA for a specific amount of hours and then uh, we begin to work together. And the, the more we begin to work together, she began to know me, I began to know her, and then she came on um, for a longer period of time. Now, let me do say this, before you start hiring, the thing that you wanna do is get crystal clear on where you need the help. Where do you actually need the help? Like I know a lot of times it looks sexy to hire people and to, and to build a team, but I've seen a lot of entrepreneurs crash and burn because they hired too fast or they hired um, unnecessarily. Like you really didn't need that individual yet, but you know, you, you wanted to look like you had a big team. So my mentor taught me years ago, you always wanna keep your operations costs low and your profits high. And so now we're in a time where we can easily we can easily do that, but you got to get crystal clear on the help that you really need. So, for instance, with a VA that you bring on, uh, just maybe to check emails, right? To organize your emails, check emails. You, you don't need them for a full day. Let's say you just need them Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Let's say you only need them for, you know, two hours a day two hours, right? Two hours a day to go through, clean up your emails. You can talk to them and have meetings with them and say, okay, these are the emails for me, revenue generating activities. If it's somebody trying to give me uh, money, right? Trying to hire me, that's a high alert email. Um, if it's someone wanting to get me on a podcast or something like that, okay, that's, that's mid-level uh, email. And so you just work with your virtual assistant on what emails are important to you, what emails are not important to you. Then let's say on a Friday, um, uh, uh, you can have that individual source those emails um, get you a uh, get you a data sheet of all the important emails that you need to follow up with. Um, check with check with uh, your VA to see if you want to do this podcast or that interview or whatever like that. But just communicating. But for that to work, you got to get crystal clear on the type of help that you need. Um, second major hire for me was an operations um, an operations manager. And once again, that can initially that can initially start off um, as a project base. Maybe you just need some help. Maybe you just like, for instance, we do events. And so maybe you just need somebody um, to help you with the event, to streamline the event, right? Maybe that's what you need the individual for and you only maybe need them for a 60 day period, 90 day period, right? That way um, you don't have to put them on payroll. You don't have to worry about payroll taxes and things like that. You just make them attend uh, 1099 type of employee, a contract employee, and you kind of work it like that. Then as your business grows, you may need someone that comes in permanently to run your operations, to run the day-to-day -day as your business starts to expand. But once again, I love the space that we're in right now because you can be creative. You can uh, hire one to two people and then outsource everything else you have upwork you have things like fiverr for marketing materials and things like that so you don't have to necessarily bring on somebody uh once again you can uh with social media you can hire a va to handle your social media so there's so many things um they even have what they call fractional um, CEOs and fractional CFOs. So you can hire somebody to come in for a limited amount of time just to give you the support you need uh, for a three month, six month, you know, uh, period of time. But it's so it's so many ways that you can creatively creatively create teams. Now, the key, though, is you got to get crystal clear on what help you need and this may take some time especially when you're an entrepreneur and you've been doing everything 
um, it can get a little bit intimidating. Sometimes, you know, you can let your ego get in the way because I know as entrepreneurs, we set up our business in our minds. We set up our businesses in our head and we know where stuff is. But when you start hiring people, that's where SOPs come into place. And if you haven't been doing that, um, that can become overwhelming. So you may have to hire somebody to even help you just put up and uh, create SOPs. But sometimes you may be like, oh man, I know my business behind the scenes look raggedy. I don't want nobody to see how raggedy it is. You gotta get over that, right? You gotta bring somebody in to help you clear all the clutter out and all that kind of stuff and get you set up correctly. So don't let that be a deterrent to you hiring somebody to get you to the next level. Just have that open conversation. Hey, I've been head down running the business. Everything's kind of not in place. I need you to come in and kind of help me set things up properly, get these SOPs in place, and um, and let's take this business to the next level. So when it comes to when it comes to hiring, we have so many different options. Um, no need to be uh, fearful about it afraid about it it is a daunting task to you know bring on people but at the end of the day it's going to make your business run better it's going to make you a better leader it's going to make you a better entrepreneur and a better um, um, business owner at the end of the day so um, if you're looking to take your business to the next level I can promise you um, probably 85% of it, your success at the next level is the team you hire because you're going to come to a point where you can't do it all anymore. You got to start to delegate and things like that. So I hope this gave you something to think about. As I always tell you, go out there and be your brilliant, amazing, genius self. Make someone else smile as you make yourself smile. And I'll see you right back here tomorrow for The Daily Genius. All right, guys, have a great day and I'll see you tomorrow.